Hey, so I made this script that lets you make 3D ropes procedurally from paths, because I thought this previous system and video I made just wasn't really good enough for most people. This works by using pin joint 3D nodes to connect rigid bodies, and uses a CSG polygon that follows the path to create a mesh. This lets you make hanging ropes, ropes that curve around objects, fixed ropes, and ropes with rigid bodies attached to the ends. The best part? is that this uses only built-in Godot features, so this actually works really well in the browser, which is what it's doing right now, if you <laughs> let me zoom out. So, if you want to try this out, go and link in the description. But before you do that, I'll quickly explain how to use the script. You'll first need the Pack 3 d Rope Scene node, which contains the script already set up. Then you can customize the shape of the rope by changing the curve 3D the script uses. Then, based on the shape and length of the curve you made, you can choose the number of segments or rigid bodies that make up the rope. Be careful not to choose a number too low, because the rope won't conform to that curve you made, and not too high, because it may behave unpredictably. You can also adjust the number of sides the mesh has, and its thickness. After that, you can decide if you want to fix and place the ends of the rope, or attach rigid bodies to the ends of the rope. Lastly, you can change the material the procedurally generated mesh uses. Then you can just run the project, and the rope will be procedurally generated from the path 3D. As a disclaimer, I'll give some warnings about using this script. I probably can't improve this much more because it relies very heavily on built-in Godot features like CSGs and pin joints, which can cause some unexpected stuff. Uh, you should also try not to rotate the ropes before generating the mesh. You can always rotate the curve instead. This is because it may cause issues specifically with attached rigid bodies. And if you don't do that, you might not encounter as many issues. Also, I got the idea for this for using pin joint 3D nodes to create ropes from this video from Alan Vey. You can watch that from the description. But the benefit of my system is that this script does everything automatically instead of having to open up Blender and create a mesh. But it does also behave in the same unexpected ways because of the use of pin joint 3D nodes. Download the project and script and let me know how it works out for you. And I wanted to mention that I've been inactive on my channel because I broke my hand the other month. But I'm all better now, so it's not a big deal. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.